Thank you very much, Phil. Let's give Phil Van Cleve and the VCL a round of applause. I got to tell you, there are a lot of uh, pro-gun organizations out there that protect our Second Amendment, but I don't think anyone does more in Virginia than a VCDL, and uh, I hope that you guys are members, and I hope you get your friends to members uh, to join, because gun owners vote. Let's give them a round of applause. Hey, I'm John McGuire. Um, I've been in the House of Delegates since 2018, and I'm very honored to have a 100 score every year with the VCDL. I don't know what part of shall not be infringed uh, our, our, our friends on the other side don't understand. It's our God-given right to protect ourselves, our family, and our children. I've carried some really good bills in the past, but until we get the Republican control of the state Senate, they're not going to pass. We've got to do that. I'm actually running for state Senate now so that we can un-California Virginia. Over the one-party rule, <laughs> under one-party rule in Virginia, they tried to out California, California with these red flag laws and infringements on our civil liberties. And so I'm working really hard against that. I've got a couple of bills that you guys may have heard of. A few years ago, I put in a bill called Sovereign Immunity. And it basically says that uh, if you get shot in a gun-free zone, you can sue the government. I got letters from all 50 states saying that's the best gun bill you've ever heard of because we all know there is no such thing as a gun-free zone and evil does exist. And it's our God-given right to protect ourselves and our family. And I, th I think these, uh, these gun-free zones are really an effort to make us helpless victims. You know, we're living in a time where we have open borders and we have enough fentanyl coming over the borders to kill every American. And we want to defund and demean our police and put criminals back on the street. And then when they commit the same crime again, you hear people say, oh, I didn't think they would commit that same crime again. What did you think would happen? And I heard a 911 call the other day where a woman's uh, boyfriend who had a history of assaulting her was banging down the door. And she called 911 and the dispatcher said, hide in the bathroom. We have no one to send. What do you guys think of that? Now listen, I'm much better with a rifle than giving a speech, but I gave a speech on the floor one day when we had Democrat rule, and I said, Madam Speaker, at the time, if a bad guy broke into your home tonight with a gun to kill you and your children, you'd be glad you had a gun. And if a bad guy broke into your home tonight to kill you and your children and you didn't have a gun, you'd wish you had a gun. So it's our God-given right. And I got to tell you, I keep hearing people say we need gun control, gun control. Well, criminals don't care about the law. And you look at Chicago, where they have the strictest gun laws in the nation, and they have the most gun violence. And it's really, it's an evil heart situation. We have mental health for sure, but it's an evil heart. Evil does exist. And you look in London, a few years ago, the mayor tried to outlaw knives. So I'm Delegate John McGuire, running for State Senate District 10. It's Hanover, Louisa, Goochland, Powhatan, Amelia, Fluvanna, Cumberland, Buckingham, uh, Appomattox and a little bit of Prince Edward. So I uh, hope you guys will vote for the Frogman, the Navy SEAL, and let's protect our Second Amendment rights. Thank you for being here today. God bless you.